Hello friend, in this video I will explain a .NET PDF generator article. You can see that my article is written on .NET .com, .NET PDF generator .NET, dynamically generate PDF in ASP.NET. Here I have tried to explain that how to uh, generate a PDF document uh, and how to generate PDF document with custom text and with, with custom images on that. You can see that I have used iText Sharp, that is a free uh, open source DLL on, on sourceforce.net uh, website. The uh, URL is uh, given on the article. You can go ahead and download it. So uh, let's see how it actually works. So uh, first I have created a form where I have a grid view because I'm trying to explain that how to export a grid view into PDF so I have kept a grid view then I have a four buttons uh, you can see that it is generate PDF document generate PDF or download PDF download PDF with custom text and generate PDF with images <coughs> and all four uh, buttons have their own event on click event and that I have written into code behind file you can see them here uh, so first let us debug uh, the page uh, on click of on every button so first I'm trying to click generate PDF doc when I clicked it my uh, server side event will fire so you can see that generate PDF uh, uh, method has fired and uh, here I have uh, got one path where I need to generate the PDF and then I have dynamically generated a file name I'm making sure that the file name is unique then I have a private method that is common uh, generate PDF that accepts path file name and whether to download or not and, and then any custom text that to be written so let us go ahead in that I have this is how document object is the is inside into itext sarp.dll so i have imported itext sarp.txt itext sarp.txt.pdf and itext sarp.txt.html.simple parser uh, namespaces so that is available into the itext dll you can see here and then i have and let's uh, let me describe our generate pdf uh, method i have created a new object then whether i need to download or not based on that I have created instance of the PDF writer by passing the document object and the file stream file stream is nothing but my file name and in which mode do I need to create it or I just need to <coughs> open it so I created a instance of the PDF writer then whatever text I need to write inside the uh, to, to hold that I have created a string builder then, then I open the document object that is available in the iText sub and then I, I am trying to see that whether I have to write any custom text or not if I have to write the custom text then I will uh, probably simply add the text into the string builder in this case I have to export the grid view so first I have bound my, my grid view so that this grid view is bounded properly and after that what I am doing is using a string writer and HTML text writer I am trying to get the HTML output of the grid view and adding into the HTML text writer and then because HTML text writer is ultimately attached with the string builder so the whole table uh, for the grid view will be into the string builder you can see it here the whole thing is here and then I have used uh, because I have to parse the HTML that is available inside the inside the string so I have used text reader I have used HTML worker dot parse dot parse to list earlier uh, there was another method available in uh, iText sharp I have written about that here called uh, HTML parser but in 5.0.0.2 that HTML parser method is not available so I have used HTML worker dot Pass to list and then I have added each element of the string into the document object and then I have simply closed it you can see that I have closed it now and uh, you will notice that because I had to generate the PDF so my doc uh, my PDF object is document is generated here I can open it and I can see it here
can see that my PDF document is generated with the git view text that I had here. In the same way, I let us uh, debug the second download PDF. Again, I have created a, a, a unique file name, and then I because I have to uh, download this uh, PDF. So first, I have cleared the response. Then I have generated this PDF in the same way. Here you can see that because I have to download the PDF, so I have created a new instance of PDF Writer object with response dot output system, and then. Again, my bind, uh, I have bounded the grid and then uh, got all the HTML output of the grid and then passed it and then closed it. Now you can see that it will ask me to, to save. So first let me save it somewhere. I am saving it to the desktop. And then I am just opening this and you can see that my uh, PDF is generated with the grid with text. In the same way, let's uh, go ahead and write some custom text. So I have clicked this and then I have uh, generated the path and my custom text. Custom text is .NET .com is a great resource for .NET. And then I cleared it, then generated the PDF. Here I have, a, I have passed a text, custom text. So this will be a little different. Here it will come into this particular uh, condition and add the text that I have to place into the PDF into the string builder and then I passed it and then ultimately close it. You can see that my custom text is here dot net fund as a get resources and in in the another uh, button I have placed one image so I have created a path where I need to place that uh, image and then file name unique file name then created a new document object I created an instance of the PDF writer object with the file string by passing the path and the file name and the create mode and then open the document object then added a new paragraph itfunda.com because I have to place uh, uh, text also and then created a GIF image object of, of itextsarp and specified the path of the image that I have to take it so I have to, I am trying to take here itfunda.gif you can see is see that image here and then added that GIF in my document object and then I'm simply closing this you will see that uh, a new uh, PDF is generated with a text called itfunda.com and then itfunda.com logo uh, this is a very simple uh, where I have just used uh, the itext sarp uh, third party DLL you can visit itext sarp uh, project open source project here and download and that itex sap deal uh, free of cost it is available here and you can download it is just 1.2 mb and use it to generate the uh, pdf either from the gate view or or a custom text or uh, using some images and uh, just to uh, show how i have bounded the grid i have called this bind my grid method and then uh, written my query and then using a SQL com command and connection and then have just bounded my grid here. So that's a simple, that's not a big deal. The only thing is that I have used itext sharp. I, okay, one more thing is in order to use the system.io namespace and all these three uh, itext sharp dot text namespaces. Hope uh, this article uh, was useful and uh, uh, keep visiting .NET and sharing your uh, knowledges. Thank you very much.